Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And in our previous tutorial, we learned how to use a Java code in our SOA composite using the Java embedding activity. We did a simple demo of hello program using Java in SOA composite. And today we will do a use case of base64 encoding and decoding. Today we will create a service which will encode whatever the data that we are getting from the user. It will encode that data using the Java code and send it back to the user and then other service which will call this service can get the encoded data and decode it using the Java embedding activity. So for today we will do that encoding demo and I'll also show you how you can decode. Uh, I'll also tell you how you can decode the code. So let's create a SOA project. base64 encoder demo we'll create a schema where we will get users name first name last name and the location so let's create a schema really quick I will fast forward all this because we have done this several times. So our schema is created first name, last name, the location that we'll get from the user and we will send the encoded result. Okay. So now let's create a Beeple process. people process with the schema that we have created and we have got receive activity, reply activity, and as I have shown you in my previous tutorial, I'll create a couple of string variables for the Java input and output. You don't have to use Java input where I just do it because it's a demo in a project. Uh, you should give more me meaningful names. And now, as I told you in previous tutorial, if you have not seen that one, I highly recommend you to go through that because I will not explain what I am doing right now because I have already explained you guys uh, that in our previous tutorial. So here what I'm doing is taking the input variable, assigning it to the string variable, taking the whole request element like this. Similarly, whatever the output that I get from the Java, I'm going to assign it to the output variable. And now the Java embedding activity. I also told you that uh, I will teach you how you can use try, catch, all those sort of things in Java embedding. So we'll 
do that now the best practice is that you use everything in a try catch block so that if there is any exception that comes you should be able to catch it and display it onto the flow trace so let's do that so again we'll have to make sure that the uh, syntax and everything is correct else it will error out So this is like the basic structure of try and catch everything that you want to do put it here everything that you want to make as a fault handling framework or the fault handling of this java embedding activity put it over there so all i want is to uh, add an audit trail entry for me to be able to see the message if something fails in there so for that what i'll do is So let me explain you what I'm doing here. So try something, try the code that I am putting into this block under these curly braces. And if something goes wrong, catch exception is like the parent class and it has this object E and I'm using that get message method of this exception class. So again, I mean, you have to have a little bit knowledge of Java in order to understand what it's going on. But even if you don't have, just cram it just mug up whatever we are doing because there is nothing more to it than this whatever the java code that you want to write put it here and use this structure as a try catch within your java embedding activity so i have a code handy for the encoder where we are using the uh, base 64 decoder and base 64 encoder class of the util package so either you import that package into your Beeple or you can give a fully qualified name of that class in this Java embedding activity. So what I'm going to do is I'll use the fully qualified name of the class and then we'll create its object. So that class object methods, all these are the Java terminologies. So those who are not familiar with Java, they might not understand it. But again, it's not rocket science, just see what i'm doing and you will know what exactly is going on so i'm just gonna paste the code that i have got for java uh, encoding base 64 encoding i'll paste it here and then i'll explain you uh, so guys this is the code that we have got in our java embedding activity and let me give you a simple explanation of what we are doing so we created an input variable or a string variable java input where and we got the java input where people variable from people uh, into this java input where and here we have given a fully qualified name of base 64 encoder class uh, fully qualified name means it has the package name along with the class name so this class is in java oracle so a common util and we have got this uh, object created named encoder this name can be anything as per your choice and now we have initialized a, a string variable on java output where with null value and then this string value value we have put the encode method of this object and given the value of whatever that we are getting from the people so this method will basically do the magic and convert this string into base 64 data and here we have just put an audit trail like what exactly the data has been converted to we will be able to see that in our java embedding activity only and then we are just returning this uh, whatever the data that we have created to the variable so just for simplicity i have kept the same name for people variable and the java variable 
might be confusing for some but yeah that's what it is you'll need to understand so let me apply okay and let's just deploy it now and let's test it if it is working as expected or not so it is deployed let's go to the enterprise manager and test this service so this is the service base 64 encoder demo let's test it and we have got the base 64 encoded result as you can see now so let's check the flow trace also so let's check this so this is java output variable so we set that into our java embedding this is the one edit row audit trail base 64 encoded this variable has this value so this value can be seen here also so this is converted your xml has been converted into this so Sometimes what happens is when you call a client service, you'll get a base64 encoded data for that You'll have to decode it and for that you will use a decoder method of Java and I Want you guys to do it. I'll just tell you how to do it simply that this service is deployed You first create this service Deploy it and then create another service and call this service. So this service will give you an encoded data and under this Java code rather than using the encoder use the decoder so simply change this to decoder and this to decoder and the method that this object will use the decode it's very simple and if you think you're getting some error you're running into some issues or you need the source code of what i have created here please email me i am always here to help you out guys and this is it for today it was a very uh, important session uh, in my opinion many many clients would use base 64 encoding and decoding uh, to make sure that they do not lose any data when they put the data on the network so this is it guys thank you so much for your time take good care of yourselves do send me an email if you're able to do that if you're not able to do that take good care of yourselves and have a nice rest of the day bye bye